Hello you guys, it's your quant for a new market update. So Bitcoin is sitting at $63,000, uh, showing some, I would say, signs of weakness. So first thing first, if we take some, um, some the bigger picture like on Bitcoin, what do we see? Uh, I think we are more like in a consolidation since two months now. Uh, I'm not particularly like rushing into buying Bitcoin. I'm more like watching it. I think we had our first uh, buy order at $63,000 that got like executed like a few days ago and then we have other orders like way lower so we are not really rushing here um i want to see a bit more of consolidation and a better price structure uh but yeah it's, it's it feels a bit weird um bitcoin is super uh kind of like weak since two months when i would say all the markets are showing some signs of like activity and the crypto market is is really um is really uh not showing uh, any any sign of it so cool thing is like i think we we, we did like few short trades uh in the private group so uh we did few shots uh on on popcat um a few good ones so the idea is not to be s super greedy it's more like to enter with not not a big size to try to hedge a bit of the folio so let's say you have uh some spot exposure on the market and you are like I want to reduce my exposure. Uh, do you want to sell to buy back lower? Or is it smarter to go in short coins who have a better risk reward of being shorted than um, than, uh, than 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 just selling you the coins you have? Um, and uh, yeah, so we did uh, Popcat, we did Bonk also, uh, was a cool one. Uh, so yeah, we had the long closed here and then uh, we had another, uh, we entered the short here just to hedge a bit the, 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 the folio so nothing nothing i would say crazy uh, the idea here is to find the best risk reward in terms of shorts so you want to to be on coins who are moving uh which is the case of meme coins they have some big pumps and they have some big i would say pullbacks um we have another short pending which is pepe uh on this one so i have put a stop loss here the idea here for me is not really to have uh, a stop loss. You know, you, you probably know me, I don't really believe in stop losses. So, I mean, for that, there is two things. Like, I don't say you should never cut your trades, but I think having a, a physical stop loss, aside if you are super strict in your money management, which would make sense in FX, I don't think it really makes sense here in, 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 in crypto for this trade where there is so much volatility. So here I just have a, every time I open a trade, I'm like, okay, this is a zone where either I want to add more in my short or I just want to let it breathe, uh, but I don't want to close it, you know, because every time I opening a position, I'm very confident with the size and I'm not like, oh, if it goes here, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, 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 I'm losing too much money, you know? These are small sizes, you know, it's like, uh, of course, so the bigger the folio you have, the easier it is to say, but you still need to respect the money management. And, you know, you should not be, um, uh, it's normal to sometimes opening like small trades, like very small in terms of sizing. Um, and these trades are below like 1% of my overall portfolio. I think even l way less than that. And uh, and sometimes, for example, this week we had a, a shot on Ondo, yeah? Uh, we had a shot on Ondo, I don't remember exactly the zone, but I was not really confident taking the shot, so we, I really uh, entered with a uh, small size, like a uh, small size for me, just to, you know, to, to do the trade and see how is it going. Um, not really rushing into that. Um, the other thing is Dogecoin, so I shared it. Um, so we had a spot trade that I think we exited um, early like March and now I'm like I want to get back into into Dogecoin so I have put like this buys on here with the small monkey because it's a meme coin right so at the end of the day it's kind of like a different approach of trading more I would say um, sentimental and everything so I have secured a small bag at uh, exactly zero point. 145 um, and I'm willing to really add way more if it if it goes down uh, so I'm in spot for now but definitely the idea is to leverage this trade um, and and if you want to trade on Bybit link in bio you have I think they, they, they added like some exclusive bonuses for uh, for this month so uh, feel free to have a look and they always have some some cool bonuses uh, but yeah this this is the, the coin I'm, I'm really looking to add uh, a bit more like for the coming weeks um, then I have still a short on Pepe opened. Um, I'm willing to see if it goes way back up, waiting to let it breathe, but perhaps to add a bit more. Uh, it's also the thing, like when you are short, you are not paying the funding fees. So it's kind of like a, a different thing. Um, probably you, you, heard, you saw it like in my uh, private group, like on WIF. It was not my best trade, but at the end of the day, like uh, I, I could uh, I could close it like 
on the last dump in a, in a good profit, but I, I let it brief just because I think um, I'm confident and you are taking the funding fee, so yeah, I'm no rush. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. I think the last cool thing I wanted to mention is, of course, you saw it perhaps, uh, was the fact that the ECC uh, got sued by consensus and then uh, over like easy firm of security or not, and then um, uh, the ECC sued MetaMask, which is um, something owned by consensus, uh, to um, yeah, just as an, an unlicensed broker. So um, I, I found that like pretty uh, pretty funny. It's a, it's a, it's a game of I don't know I don't know. It's like game of insiders and game of like regulations. But yeah, otherwise, uh, if is is really showing some some sign of strength against Bitcoin, which is very interesting because if has underperformed since the beginning of the year. So uh, we'll see what's what what will happen. Uh, we saw like the NFT market bouncing a bit. Uh, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, for now, I think it's just being patient. Uh, just being patient um, and waiting for the right opportunities. Uh, I'm sharing a bunch in the private group. I'm sharing some in the public group. I shared uh, Dogecoin. Really, uh, of course, not a financial advice, but really you're entering very, super slowly. Uh, and I'm really hoping, it's always the same. Like if it doesn't go there, I will have missed the opportunity. But the opportunity here is, is not as good as here. So that's why that what matters is like to always figure out the best risk reward trades. And now I'm even more cautious when I invest. I'm like, I always want to be uh, super like, not confident, but like super like, okay, I think I'm having the best risk reward. I'm getting into the trade. So yeah, you guys, that was it. That was a super small market update, more focused on trading. Don't want to do the video too long because I got some feedbacks that you want, you really like short videos and you won't just want more videos. So that's the thing I'm I'm trying to do here. Uh, but yeah, feel free to share the video. Every comments are welcome, and if you have any question in DM, feel free to feel free to 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 come and reach out, reach out.